Nou, ja, naar ja, kloten. Dan? Ja, gewoon hard rijden en zo. Wat hebben jullie, wat hebben jullie gedaan? Ja, 320 kilometer keihard achter elkaar aangereden. Een beetje cafeïne. Je moet het leven soms gewoon makkelijker maken. Waarom niet? Jesus. I feel dirty man. My hands are dirty, my legs are dirty, everything is dirty. Hey! Dirty cancelled. What a day. What a day. Early spring 2020. Cycling season is on the verge of taking off. Today marks the start of the cobbled classic season. Jasper Sturman wins the Omni Pet News. When COVID puts the world in hibernation mode. Experts are warning it's likely to become a pandemic. And the number of people infected with coronavirus surged by more than 3,000 overnight. No spring cycling events. No Sunday morning group rides. Lockdown. Only a few months later, with a long and dark period of no cycling days behind us, Just when summer takes over from spring, the virus goes into decline. Italy has begun easing its coronavirus restrictions. Starting today, Spaniards are allowed to go outside to exercise again. Slowly, cyclists everywhere are allowed to go outside again. Even though still no racing, no group rides, it felt like freedom for many. At last. This is a story about a day that made us end this spring on a high with an unprecedented cycling event that was no event. We rode together without being together. 2020 will be remembered as a year we rode. Dirty Cancel. Sunshine beating on the good times. Moonlight raising from the grave. String band playing worn out honky tonk. Pretty young thing going dancing in the rain. High heel lady spitting at the nick of jacks. Business man with a needle and a spoon. Coyote chewing on a cigarette Pack of young boys going howling at the moon Hey darling, sleeping on the black top Hey darling, running through the trees, honey Hey darling, leaving for the next town Lesson my sense catches up with me klaarmaken voor Dirty Kenzels. Ik heb er ook lang naar uitgekeken. Hier uh, zijn we in mijn uh, man cave met de uh, fully packed Bianchi Zolder crossfits. Agu-tassen erop. Eén liter bidons. Hier is een snackpack. Ik probeer altijd te beperken dat er, uh, dat er zo weinig mogelijk materiaal in een achterzak zit. Twee Garmin's op stuur. Eentje voor de route en uh, voor mijn file helemaal te registreren. En deze kleine, de 130, die ga ik gebruiken om het aantal kilometers gravel te registreren. Just a little uh, day before the blue to black dirty cancelled. Shake out spin. Uh, don't have much time because uh, I gotta get home. There's a lot of sandwiches to make, coolers to pack, beers to chill. A lot of things going into this project. Wayne's missing Dirty Kanza too, so I roped him in to still play Dirty Canceled mechanic. Hey, it's Jack Thompson here. I am from Australia. The bike is locked and loaded. We've got an assortment of food here. Bars, wraps, dates, Morton gels. Some caffeine gum. It's gonna be a big day out on the bike. We were in Girona. I think it was the last trip, uh, last trip we did. Me and uh, you, Stefan and Jack. Jack, also known as the ultra cyclist, joins us. We were having drinks. Coronavirus existed, albeit predominantly in China at the time, and in Italy, I think it had started. We were joking about, uh, oh, the, the world is uh, going down and, and stuff like that, but 
So maybe you will not be, be able to travel to Kenza. You know, I'm hoping I come home in two days because it was, I think we were there March 9. And at some point I made the joke, well, no Kenza this year. Uh, let's do Dirty Cancelled. Als Kenza niet doorgaat, maken wij met deze gozer wel een of andere lijpe film. Dirty Cancelled. <laughs> Where are we going? I can't I credit that one against you. <laughs> no, we joked and we said, you know, imagine if it gets cancelled, we can all go out and do Dirty Cancelled together. You write it in Girona, Jack, and we write it in Holland, and Mr. Pete Tetina writes it in, uh, in Tahoe. And uh, we do it to, like a worldwide event. And Stevie called and said, look, Jack, Kansas has been cancelled, but Dirty Cancelled is going to happen. Would you be interested in undertaking the 350 mile XL edition? We, we still wanted to have the spirit of Kenza, So we, we aim to have the same rules, like 6 a.m. start. Two rest stops only, basically in the spirit of Kenza. And I think uh, people got the idea and they took it, uh, everybody took it pretty serious. My name is Steven Bolt. I am Mark Ten Hag. My name is Remco Ringema. We are Amy and Yip. I'm Nicky Derpsla. My name is Kerry Ekman. It's Dennis. It's Brian. Keanu Marcus. This is John Reddick. No, I'm Saddam. My name is Pete Stetna. I'm from California. The Netherlands. Belgium. Farta Kat. We're from Amsterdam. And today I'm going to write Dirty Cancel. 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 See you at Burning Man. Let's go. Five, five. Let's get for the coffee now. So, coffee chip. Breakfast time. It's way too early. Checking for bears. Okay, guys. Go potty. Morning. It is 4.40. Breakfast of champions. Coffee, loaded oats. Oats, cliff granola, Greek yogurt, tons of fruit. <laughs> 320K. Praise the Lord. Lawrence, this is for you. Gotta calibrate the power meter, because I'm a pro. Pass it up. Stop it, you get the last. I rode with Nicky Terpstra and Eva Slick. And Eva is also yeah, he's a phenomenon on the beach racing. Two big guys, big engines, two real big guys basically. 320k race. And it was like, was the good thing in a, in a race, sometimes you hold a little bit back because uh, maybe somebody's in the front and you were two guys behind and you don't want to pull for the other. But here we were with three guys and it was just showdown time, you know, to show the muscles every time. It was like a boxing match. Okay, show me what you've got. Na uh, klote. Dan. Ja, gewoon hard rijden en zo. Wat hebben jullie, wat hebben jullie gedaan? Ja, 320 kilometer keihard achter elkaar aangereden. I think I prepared well. I, I, I woke up, I had my oatmeal. Martijn came in, we had a few coffees and just took off. And Martijn does not stop talking. So we ended up not behind each other, but riding all day next to each other, making silly, stupid jokes I cannot even explain. So yesterday we had the after party. We arrived and also Nikki's wife was here. And Ramona told already my wife that the preparation of Nikki was like he was preparing for Roubaix, you know. Every detail was counted for, so the tires, 
Uh, for example, this chain, the day before he did with a pipette, every single link he put one drop. And uh, he had his bike was stayed all over the place with Snickers and bananas. And uh, yeah. his bike was already in the making for a few months. So it was all in the detail. So uh, yeah, it was cool. Just a part of from home. I have 508 kilometers to go. The first hill begins. Hell's Angels. Don't mind, it's all right. Two and a half hours in and we've hit the Costa Brava. It is a little bit chilly on the descent, but going up seemed to warm up. I think it's that sweat on the body. Check this out. Here on the coast, this Costa Brava is insane. Aaron is loving your route. Laos, don't come redelijk here. Sorry, sorry. Elke week I kiss my ass. For me, from now on, it's only tarmac. <laughs> this stuff, not this stuff. <laughs> uh, we're not even halfway. It's uh, <laughs> almost free and we're not, not half, even halfway. We're going to go camping, man. Make it for tomorrow. Fuck you, Lawrence. Ah, but Lawrence won't sleep that out. Yeah. What's the... Uh, what is your best memory of Lawrence in the world tour? Ooh. He's a fighter. He was always like just wearing his heart on his sleeve. You can tell he gave it all his all every time he raced. Maybe Mount Baldy, 2011. Me and Horner and him at the end. Ooh. He fought hard. He came out on top. I didn't force. Well, Lawrence, you're gonna be over too, because. I think I'm virtually canzing your ass right now. See that? You'd be way, way back there. Basically we're inside or not inside. In Holland we were not inside, but we're locked down for two and a half months now and people need a challenge. You can do it alone, but people need also maybe a little bit like community feeling or something. We do something together, an event together. And I think that's why it popped up. You can feel there's the possibility of running into other participants. Mooi podcast, jongen. Ja? Ja, echt leuk om naar te luisteren. All the participants, everybody we ran into, had the same like, we're in this together, togetherness thing in their eyes. My wife is doing the website and then she's like, oh, there's somebody from Uganda and somebody from Australia and two guys from Vegas. And the whole Benelux is crowded with routes because you could uplo upload uh, your route to, to our website. And it was like, like a red, yeah, poop, 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 popping up routes everywhere, every part of the country. You didn't know there was gravel. Nikki made the route already for weeks in advance. A lot of small tracks I didn't know about and I couldn't find them again tomorrow if I didn't have the, had the Wahoo on my, my, my steer. All the time I was to Nikki, how did you come up with this? Kijk eens lopen. Top. Geen walk in the park. He found people before. Can you look to that track for me? Can you look to that track for me? Uh, some routes were not on commode. He said, I, I'm pretty sure. No, no, this is not on commode. Reverend, Reverend, please come quick. I got something to admit. I met a man uh, in the sticks, a good old myth. He drove a Series 10 Cadillac and wore a cigar on his lip. Don't you know the oh, stop. Where is a suit and a tie? So I was driving down the 61 in early July. Why does the cotton feel and sharp as a. Hello, you move? <laughs> We refilled the bottles, bike is ready for the second part, and now it's lunch time. The cool thing about 322 kilometers, 200 miles, is that you can basically ride all over the country. The Netherlands isn't that big, so we went to Komoot, we built a route, so we went eastbound for 160k. I had lunch at the most amazing butcher in a little town called Zutphen. And uh, yeah, 
and got the tailwind back. Six swing picker, just as I am. This is the famous butcher of Zutphen. So, Moisland. Ooh, lekker. Dat is dan misschien wel zoetigheid. Dat is een beetje snel eten niet. Hey, uh, slik. Even dibben. Poeh. Die zit even een beetje choco. Zeg je? Gaat die nog? Ah, oh, nog maar 120 joh. The impact of, of Dirty Cancelled into cycling is, well, we will never know, obviously. If there hadn't been a coronavirus, we would not have been here. What I do know is that maybe 2,000 only in the Netherlands, and I don't even know how many people uh, globally took their bike, went on an adventure, prepared for the adventure, and had a blast. Dirty Cancelled provided the possibility to do that. So it made me also proud that we put up something like a lot of people followed and had a great day on the bike and actually to, to teach people how nice it is to explore your own region because I can blame myself for traveling around the world a lot with planes and stuff to find nice places and I think it's, it's good for everybody to see how, how nice it is around and how nice it is on the bike and how nice it is actually also to do things together. And I think a lot of people like the adventure so much like the, the, the fact that they could Take it easy, take a ride where they normally go left, you know. Don't go for speed, but just explore a little bit. So I think that when we can have events again, people will go bananas because uh, they know how nice it is also to interact with other people. All right, we're now in the middle of the desert. I just hit a giant pile of sand, came to a complete standstill. It is about ankle deep. Like, it's so dusty and fine, it's, it's almost even hard to see the difference between the road. Um, we are hauling ass across this valley. The wind is swirling around us. It goes from crosswind to headwind to tailwind. And uh, we're making great headways doing, we're doing like 23, 22 Ks an hour on this really bumpy road. It's, uh, it's been one hell of a ride so far. How are we doing, Jonathan? Awesome. awesome? No complaints here. Een beetje caffeine. Je moet het leven soms gewoon makkelijker maken. Waarom niet? Volgens mij is de 100 daar. 94 en een half. Nou ja, ik zit dan dicht bij de 100, of niet? Ja, precies. Die van die was wel een beetje optimistisch. En dan uh, voor liggende verhoudingen? Het gaat lekker. Lekker groepje. Ja. Lekker, lekker draaien? Hij moet niet veel harder rijden, want anders moet hij meer wachten. 200, We moeten moeite doen, hè? we hebben echt... Uh... We moeten moeite doen om het kader af te rijden. Dat we zijn een aardig type moeten gaan om hem te lossen. Wat is gelukt? Het is natuurlijk niet voor niets de Europees, Nederlands, regerend, weet ik veel wat, kampioen strandrace. Dus die kan wel een potje door het water rijden. Nou, laat maar zien hoe je dat doet. Vol over de kop. Klasse! Nou oh, jij. Oké, okay, is too much. Op hier. Ik denk we uh, hebben een prijswinner. Third flat. But uh, experience is not everything. Ik vind het nog leuk hoor. Even een belangrijk uh, telefoontje. Uh, ja man, ik kom vanavond niet thuis. <laughs> ik, slaap, ik slaap in het veld. These two very friendly guys gave me this sweater. Because um, 
it's now uh, like uh, 11 30 and i didn't bring any any warm clothing because i expected it to be home all, all, like hours ago but now i uh, have this one all right this is remco and jonathan i want to officially hit stop on this thing and ride yes sir So the last hour was, uh, the legs were still okay-ish, but the body was totally empty. What a day. What a day. And then arriving in my hometown. That's awesome. My name is Stephen Bolt, and I just finished Dirty Cancelled 200 miles. Daar zijn ze dan, weg Hey! Hey vriend! Het is gelukt hè! Kijk eens hoe ze voelen. Ik voel ik me wel. Dat moe hoor. Best wel moe. Nou, de Tour de France was erger. Oh ja, wat langer hè vriend. Dat klopt. Maar het ging, uh, het ging goed. Het is ook wel een beetje een mindset uh, voor zo'n lange dag. Massa met super weer en uh, ja, perfect goed. Leuke rit, genoten. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. What? I'm Peter Stetna. I just arrived at the Black Rock Desert and I did the dirty cancel 200 miles. I don't want to ride anymore. I got so many uh, thank you messages from people also. Like, what a great idea. It's the best day of 2020 so far. And there were so many people on the road. It was, it was basically crazy. And you could notice, actually, I left here at 6 a.m. and I was in the city center of Alkma. Somebody on a normal bike was there and he yelled already, good luck with that, you dirty cancel to me. There were people standing next to the road with, uh, with big uh, signs like Go, Nikki, Ivar and Lawrence for a dirty cancelled and they had coke for us if we wanted. Basically like a real dirty cancel. Cheers. I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs> I am Mark van Aert and I just survived 30 games of 200 miles. My name's Jack Thompson and I just finished the Dirty Cancelled 350 miles. I am cooked. My name is Fiona Marcus and I just finished Dirty Cancelled 100 miles. I'm Kerry Ekman and I finished Dirty Cancelled 100 miles. My name is Hossel. Today I finished the Dirty Cancelled 2020. 2020.